What's going on? What's going on? Brutus here, uh, bringing you an informational video update. I don't know what you want to call this. I just, you know, I just feel that I have to do this video because of what uh, every other video I've made in, in the recent past. Uh, if you haven't heard, Twitter kind of blew up last night, uh, and there was, this, and you could tell by the um, title of the video that uh, it has to do with the CWL. And if you guys just bring everybody up, I left the uh, I left the CWL because um, just of the way that it's set up, that some poor decisions were making, and I felt like the admins were set up to fail. I did not blame the admins. I just did not agree with a lot of the rules and the way that things were set up in a certain way, um, and I had lost faith that it wasn't fun for me anymore. And I, there was a, and the, the CWO and admin specifically have been getting a lot of ridicule because of this, right? And you know, a lot of people are just speaking out their opinions. Well, last night with this announcement, um, I think they did the right thing. And it's, it's not even because it's War Whales. I just, I'll, I'll get to it in a second. So what, what is it? Well, there was a decision made with the CWO regarding the evidence and um, with War Whales. Uh, that they decided to uh, ban, they already gave a punishment, okay, it was the end of it. However, because of the reaction from some people <coughs> in, the, in the war community, and specifically the CWL, the players themselves, there was a huge uproar, I mean, huge uproar. And it caused them, <coughs> the admins, because they still have to function in the league, uh, it caused them to, to do an inquiry. Uh, and that inquiry came back as well as uh, some other uh, pieces of evidence or I shouldn't even say evidence just pieces of information really I guess that is evidence but just more so of what everybody was really saying about the situation about the fact that it was a pattern um, and that it, it appeared that uh, they uh, whatever you know what let's just read it and I will put a link to the description, uh, link in the description to this information, uh, so that everybody that can see it, uh, because I, like me, I know that there's a lot of other people out there banned from the CWL lobby uh, for being a 36-year-old child, according to the eyes of the admins. That uh, we're not even the admins, according to the people that run the CWL lobby on Discord. So I was banned. I couldn't even see it. Like somebody share me the announcement. <laughs> Uh, so what did and I'll share with what I have um, so CWL admins I'll just read it verbatim war wells uh, this came out about last night oh I don't know about 8 or so at least I found out about it 8 p.m. Central Standard Time war wells conclusion after reviewing the war wells situation exhaustively from all angles and much discussion debate between our team and with clan leaders the admin team has concluded that there that the appropriate action is that war whales will be removed from the league this has been one of the most difficult decisions that the admin group has made for various reasons let's uh look at the next replay because you guys know i don't edit stuff so here's another one uh, the evidence in the case regarding Luke modding in War Whales has been compiled into a separate document. That's the one that I want to uh, have linked in the description. However, the decision to remove War Whales was not based solely on that evidence. CWL is a fair play league, and all the clans who choose to participate are expected to put those values before winning at all costs. It has been made clear that war whales have an atmosphere. Uh, so, oh my God! I'm sorry, guys. Uh, and tradition of looking the other way in regard to questionable activity by their members and defending them as opposed to seeking the truth. There have been several issues involving war whales in the past, which all add up to a problem that cannot be ignored. The attitude of the leadership in this matter has really shown that there are big issues with accountability in the clan. As it stands, it is not possible to have faith in the war whales, in war whales and their leadership. While a clan should never be removed due to a witch hunt or trolls, it is important that a clan in the CWL have the trust and f from their other 
CWL clans in the league and that something War Wales has been um, and that something well, hold up a second uh, CWL has been, uh, don't, 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 with the clan be removed due to a witch hunt War Wales um, that's something that War Wales has been lacking Invite clan, invite clan leaders have been asked for their opinions on the matter, and though their responses are not the deciding factor, they were an important element we took into consideration when coming to this conclusion. It has been become apparent the war well, that War Wells has taken unfair advantages in roster negotiations, which also point towards a win-at-all-cost mentality. CWO has recently been putting a larger focus on asking more from clans when it comes to fair play values and expectations. I got two paragraphs left here. Uh, excuse me, just early in the morning here. We we'll take a look at another one. Uh, it's a 9.5 dip. No, it's a 10. Right on. Good job, Sphinx. We do hope that War Wales will take this opportunity to do the work that is needed to restore their reputation within the community and adopt a stronger commitment to fair play, win or lose, so that they may rejoin CWL in the future. When it comes to forfeits, uh, for example, will EG, uh, Elite Gaming, will be awarded the win for the past weekend since this decision is all based on information admins had before that war. Congratulations, Elite Gaming. You guys might be a buy now. Who knows? <laughs> uh, when it comes to the war versus Killer Bunnies and Powercock uh, or Power CLC, those decisions will have to wait until the, until the council uh, goes through how to best handle forfeits so that we have a precedent to work from. I believe there's a little more part from that, but that's basically it. Woo! Good job! <laughs> Man, that took you guys a while to figure out. <laughs> nice job. Uh, before you guys <laughs> just... Uh, I, 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 I can't help it. If... Uh, it's, every, people are probably going to take this the wrong way, but... I can't help but be so. I, that's the way I reacted last night. I was I was an awestruck. I was excited. I was impressed all at the same time, and it wasn't because of shade or hate towards any clan. I'm just telling you guys that I really believed this needed to happen, and why I liked it is because they reached out to every clan leader in the CWL and asked them, "Hey, look, what is your opinion? You are the community." The the the, thir the the thirty plus clans actually it's, it's more than that if you invite if you think about the invite I'm sorry premiere and rising and stuff like that but clearly it's about the invite so so um God so I like that I like the fact that they asked them for their opinion they asked them for their opinions about things and I believe that is a true representation of the quote unquote community um, I am just pumped. So does that mean um, I am going to go back to the CWL? Oh no. <laughs> I made my decision. Uh, I will watch from the sidelines, uh, but I am strongly encouraged. That's what I want to say. I am strongly encouraged uh, that they made a step in the right direction. Uh, I can't, it doesn't take away from everything else. You know, one right does not <laughs> erase several wrongs for me. Uh, and the fact that they still accept prior modders is in their rules. Until that goes away to, for starters, I'll never war in that league. Um, again, so I really think they need to do that. Maybe revisit that. I think that should be the next inquiry that they lost, uh, launch and ask everybody in it, what do you guys think about this rule? Um, re like, they did. I believe they did this when they started the league. Um, and a lot of people signed off on it, which is why it's there. Some, you know, a majority of the clans participating may have. I, I'm guessing. I don't know for sure, but that's my understanding of things. Given how um, we did the experiment now for a season and a half, why don't you revisit that rule? I re I challenge you, CWLs, as a council, if you're stu and you're stood together, launch that inquiry to the leaders. Ask them what they think. And I'm not talking about the caption chat power a, P a PC war. I'm not talking about friendly wars or ha knowing somebody that mods. I'm talking about accepting 
known prior modders that have since gone clean into the clan is allowed to participate in CWLs. That rule. That's what I'm asking. Put that out and see what happens. Um, put, put, put your uh, comments in, uh, in the comment section if you th what you think the outcome of that would be. I'm of the opinion, I bet you now, given all the scandals that have taken place league-wide from season one to season two, I'd be shocked if you find a majority support and a majority opinion that says, yeah, we're going to look the other way and continue to look the other way with people that have shady histories. It's cool. I'd be shocked if you asked the majority. Anyway, I wanted to put this video out, make everybody aware of it, that it's banned from the lobby, as well as people that, you know, just don't have Twitter and don't care, uh, but are uh, uh, mildly interested in the sequence of events. That happened last night. Check out the link if you guys want to see the book and evidence of... Um, which I really like, again, they, they just were completely transparent with their evidence, decision making, and things like that. I really like that. The CWL people did that. That's the right way to do things, uh, especially to re regain trust because at the end of the day, it's about fair play, right, and things like that. You can't really prove it. It's, it's, you're really selling trust. Um, and I think that was the right direction to go with trust. For war, uh, for war whales, um, I just want to cap this off. I, I think they're a great clan. I really do. There's a lot of great people there. Uh, Slothles is one of them. I mean, I knew him when I was... He was my first impression of the Hive when I came over through Prime. Uh, Jake as well, Fake Jake. Man was a beast. Man still is a beast. Uh, but those are my uh, some of my uh, first impressions when they were over at One Hive. They're good people. Uh, uh, at least I had good experiences with them and things like that. I know there's great attackers there. And one one person does not define a clan. Uh, and uh, every clan has its scandals. I mean, no one's immune, no one's clean. So at the end of the day, I, I know strongly they're gonna recover, they're gonna come back, uh, or, or do whatever it is that they wanna do as far as league-wise. But does this impact their status as being one of the top five uh, war clans? I don't think it does, I really don't. I think that they, um, we're go they're going to move, they're going to address this properly, move on, and then still, still be gangster. That's what I think will happen. Uh, but at the end of the day, hashtag thanks admins. Once again, it's Brutus reminding you, you're going to be better than a double, and I'll check you next time. <laughs>